Behind every superstar, there's usually someone behind the scenes pulling some strings. Whether it be family or friends, them being there supporting you, giving you the proper direction, is often a major key to success. And the key to that working is people knowing their role, even if they are stars themselves. Previously in our series, we discussed the rapper who worked his way to local and national stardom. Also touching on how his support system played a pivotal role in his success. The rapper named OP. Now what if we told you that there's someone in his circle that some thought was better than him and was also a superstar, but playing a role player's role. For those who've seen our episode on OP, you know exactly where we're going with this. So let us tell you about this guy. The guy by the name of Curry B. Curry B, aka Trello, aka Bop, from Shreve Block, and the best friend of Mo P. Although he didn't meet Mo P until later in his life, growing up, this young man always has something special about him. Always well known in school and across the neighborhood, a lot of that due to his personality. Curry was one of those people who lit up a room. His energy was felt at all times. Something you can't really be taught. Like most growing up, Curry always had a love for music. It was a deep passion of his, always freestyling and coming up with new flows and ways to put words together. It was something that seemed to come second nature for him, as he would often stand out amongst his peers at a very young age. As he continued to grow, his hunger to make music grew even more. But as we always say, Access is easier now than it was, say, seven years ago. Now, with Band Lab and other options, you don't need much. But not having access, it delayed Curry B musically. But when he did eventually make his debut, it was a major one, to say the least. But before we get into that and fast forward past everything, but first we got to tell you how Mo P met Curry. A lot of people wonder what a relationship started as they ain't from the same hood initially. But it was actually something really simple that you could say God played a part in, as it's possible they wouldn't have even met if not for this happening. One day, Mo P happened to be in the Berkeley neighborhood, outside roaming a block as most kids and teens do when you're young and not much to do. Hopping gates crossing through neighborhoods, Mo P happened to stumble across someone sitting on their porch, which they addressed each other. The person on that porch was Curry B. That simple moment led to them kicking it the whole day and pretty much being inseparable ever since. Had Curry not been outside or Mo P not had been in that neighborhood that day, they may have never met. Now, of course, STL is a small place, so they could have crossed paths at one point, but their friendship probably wouldn't have been the same. The friendship at that point continued for years and played a major role in both of their success. Time went by where they tried to figure out things musically. Throughout that time, the friendships grew significantly. But in between that time, we almost lost Curry before we discovered who he was. Now before we all knew Curry, he was deep in the streets. This happened in more his life as he got older. One of the friends he was associated with in the streets was a guy by the name of Justo. Now him and Justo used to run the streets together along with some other people we won't mention. Now the story goes a lot of ways, but we can say one day out with Justo and his cousin Big Boss PJ, the night ended not how everybody expected. <laughs> Curry can be heard screaming, don't let me die. But little as he know, the friends with him have already lost their life. This footage hit the internet when it first happened. But Curry not being a big rapper at the time, people really associated it with him based on street situations. So it didn't really shake the scene as much at the time. But this just you can expect. Hard and Curry. He was already in the streets. But this will either do one or two things is gonna scare you away or is gonna push you further in and, and we know from that point it simply pushed him further in. Now a while after this, Mo P Wave began 
as we talked about before. If you want that detail, go back to that other episode. We'll give you the extra details on that. Now, of course, he hit the scene hard, and Curry B was right there beside him the entire time. Now, after being shocked, Curry was more determined than ever. It made him grow up faster than he ever was, making him the visionary and a lot of the times the more mature one amongst the peers in his group, making it easy for him to take a leading role amongst his crew. That crew they built was the Tapas. For those who were around, Curry will often be the one taking more initiative, motivating Mopi to continue grinding his music, even though he had his own skill set. Also, as Mopi's stardom grew, he had no problem taking the back seat, making sure he watched Mopi's back at all times. Both made sure they helped each other make the best possible music that was, not allowing either one to slip up. It kept both of them on their best. Perfect dream team situation. It's one of the old things you gotta understand, but those two guys helped each other become great. Even though at the time, Mo P was still considered the star to most of the world. Now once Mo P solidified himself, Curry began hitting the rap scene hard, either with collabs with P, or he started to do his own solo records. Fans started to recognize that there may be more than one star in the type of group. He finally started to step out of the shadows and become the star people knew he was. Now with the stardom, as we know, come trolls. And with people finding out he was the one in that viral video from earlier, it was something people constantly tried to bring up about him. But Curry didn't let this stop him being as braggadocious as he was. Only for tragedy to strike. Him and Rambo had a record together they were shooting. In which Toy Productions dropped this snippet. Now, a lot of people were dissed in this snippet in multiple people in this clip it's insane what happened in less than 24 hours on october 17 2023 curry b was shot again this time succumbing to his injuries it set the internet on fire as we mentioned before in the mop episode they both were deep in the streets on live dissing the ops dissing them his songs it seems like this type of thing is inevitable this happened right when Mo P was starting to blow up insane levels. All things were flowing for him at that time, and boom, this happened. Now, I'm going to give a hot take here. People might not like it, but personally, I think Curry's death made him a bigger star than he was when he was alive. Don't get me wrong. He was earning his way and definitely gaining a lot of buzz before his death. But the way people look at him now, like he's some second coming of Jesus, it seems like that level of love wasn't really there when he was alive. As with a lot of artists when they die. Some become legendary after, even if they weren't legendary before their death. From this point, Curry's name had become solidified in STL lore. All ops across the city using this as an opportunity to put his name in a song for clout and diss him. The whole STL rap scene knew about him pretty much overnight. Now was Curry B a better rapper than Mo P? That's debatable. Could he have been a bigger star? Also debatable. Something unfortunately due to his death. And the world will never know.